Welcome to a new section. In this video, we are going to study the characteristics of image formed by lenses. By using ray diagrams, we can easily understand image characteristics. For that, first we are going to study three common rays used to draw ray diagrams. You need to consider any two of them to draw ray diagrams. First, incident ray, parallel to principal axis. Let us understand it by drawing a convex and a concave lens. Draw principal axis for the lenses. Mark focus F1 and F2 for both the lenses. So here we are considering the incident ray parallel to the principal axis for both the lenses. For convex lens, this ray will pass through the principal focus on the other side of the lens. For a concave lens, this ray will diverge such that it appears to be coming from the principal focus located on the same side of the lens. So this is one ray we are going to consider for drawing ray diagrams of lens. That is the incident ray parallel to the principal axis. The second ray we are going to consider here is for a convex lens the incident ray passing through the principal focus. For a case of concave lens, the ray is incident ray appears to be made at principal focus. So we are going to draw the figure for understanding it. For that we are going to draw a convex lens and a concave lens. Let us draw the principal axis. Mark the focus F1 and F2. Here also the principal focus is F1 and F2. For a convex lens, we are going to consider the incident ray passing through the principal focus. So the ray is such that it passes through the principal focus. But for a concave lens, the incident ray appears to meet at the principal focus. The ray is such that it appears to meet at the principal focus. So here the second ray is the incident ray passing through the principal focus for convex lens and for concave lens the incident ray appears to be meet at the principal focus. In both the cases after refraction the ray emerges parallel to the principal axis. So in both the cases the ray emerges parallel to the principal axis. The third ray we are going to consider here is 
a ray passing through the optical center so for understanding it we are going to consider two lenses again that is convex and concave lenses let us draw the principal axis mark the principal focus f1 f2 for both the cases also mark here the optical center o in this case we are going to draw the light ray passing through the optical center in both the cases the light ray passing through the optical center will pass without any deviation so we studied three rays which can be used to draw ray diagrams we need to select any two of these rays to draw ray diagrams first ray we considered here is the incident ray parallel to the principal axis after refraction it passes through the principal focus on the other side of a convex lens and for concave lens it appears to be diverged from the principal focus of the same side of the lens the second ray we considered here is the incident ray passing through the principal focus for convex lens and the incident ray appears to meet at the principal focus for concave lens and after refraction both rays will emerge parallel to the principal axis and the third ray we considered here is a ray passing through the optical center it passes without any deviation so by using these three rays we can draw ray diagrams for convex and concave lenses for different positions of object so now we are going to study image formation of a convex lens at a different positions of the object and also we will study the image characteristics so image formation by convex lenses here we are going to study six types of image formation based on the position of the object first object is at infinity we know if object is at infinity the rays are parallel to the principal axis so we draw a convex lens we draw the principal axis we are going to mark the principal focus f1 f2 and the optical center o so here since the object is at infinity the rays are parallel to the principal axis we know if the rays are parallel to the principal axis it will pass through the principal focus so the image is formed at the principal focus of the other side of the convex lens that is at f2 so here we are writing the image characteristics that is image is formed at f2 
Second characteristics is that we can see it is of point size that is highly diminished. Or we can say it is of point size. Third is it is a real image. We know a real image is an image which can be observed if a screen is placed here. So it is a real but inverted image. So we studied if object is placed at infinity, the image is formed at F2. It is a highly diminished point size image and it is real and inverted. Second case is if object is placed beyond 2F1. Here also we are going to draw the ray diagram to understand the image characteristics. So we draw a convex lens, we draw the principal axis, mark the positions of optical center F1, 2F1, here F2, 2F2. We can extend this principal axis something more here to draw the object. Now we are going to place an object beyond 2F1. Now we need to select two rays and draw the ray diagrams. First ray we are going to consider here is a ray parallel to the principal axis. So this ray will pass through the principal focus on the other side of the lens. Second ray we are going to consider here is a ray passing through the optical center and we know it will pass without any deviation. Now you can see the image is formed here that is the image is formed between F2 and 2F2. We can also see the size of the image. The size of the image is diminished because the size of the image is less than the size of the object. We can also understand the image is real and it is inverted. So for the second case it is when object is placed beyond 2F1, image is formed between F2 and 2F2, it is diminished real and inverted. Now we are going to study the third case that is when object is placed at 2F1. We are going to draw a ray diagram for this case. For that draw a convex lens, draw its principal axis, mark optical center O, F1, 2, F1, here F2, 2, F2. In this case, the object is placed at 2, F1. Now, we are going to draw two rays. One, the ray parallel to the principal axis. And we know after refraction, it will pass through the principal focus on the other side. 
second ray we can consider here is a ray passing through the optical center and this ray will pass without any deviation so you can see the image is formed at 2f2 so here you can observe image is formed at 2f2 and what is the size of the image you can see it is having the same size that of the object third point you can observe here is that the image is real and inverted so if the object is placed at 2f1 here the image is formed at 2f2 of same size real and inverted now we are going to study the fourth case here that is if the object is placed between 2f1 and f1 here we are going to study by drawing a ray diagram for that draw a convex lens draw the principal axis mark the positions of optical center f2 2f2 f1 and 2f1 place the object in between 2f1 and f1 for understanding it we need to draw two rays first ray we are going to consider is a ray parallel to the principal axis and we know after refraction it will pass through the principal focus on the other side second ray we can consider here is a ray passing through the optical center we know this ray will pass without any deviation and here we can observe the image is formed here that is the image is formed beyond 2f2 also you can see the size of the image is larger than the object so it is enlarged we can also see it is a real image and inverted so when object is placed between 2f1 and f1 then the image is formed beyond 2f2 it is an enlarged image real and inverted now we are going to study the fifth case here that is if object is placed at f1 for understanding it we can draw the ray diagrams for that draw convex lens draw the principal axis mark the optical center o f1 f2 f1 f2 and 2 f2 in this case we need to place the object at f1 now we can draw the ray diagram by considering the two rays first ray we are going to consider here is a ray parallel to the principal axis and we know after refraction it will pass through the principal focus on the other side second ray we can consider here 
is a ray passing through the optical center and we know this ray will pass without any deviation and now you can see this rays are parallel after refraction through this lens that means it will meet at infinity so image is formed at infinity what about the size we can also see the image is formed at infinity with a very big size when compared to the object so the image size is highly enlarged or we can say it is infinitely large and third property we can observe here is this is a real image so if we could able to place a screen at infinity then we can observe that image on the screen so it is real and inverted so if the object is placed at f1 then the image is formed at infinity it is highly enlarged real and inverted the last type we are going to study here is if the object is placed between f1 and o that is in between f1 and optical center for understanding this again we are going to draw the ray diagram for that we can draw the convex lens draw the principal axis mark the positions of optical center f1 and 2f1 also f2 and 2f2 now we are going to place the object in between f1 and o for drawing the ray diagram we need to consider two rays first ray is a ray parallel to the principal axis we know after refraction the ray will pass through the principal focus on the other side of the lens second ray we are going to consider here is a ray passing through the optical center and this ray will pass without any deviation we can see these two rays are diverging so they will not meet at any point but if you extend these rays you can see these rays are appear to be coming from a point so an image is formed here that is image is formed on the same side of the object so the image is formed here what about the size of the image you can see the size of the image is enlarged that is size of the image is bigger when compared to the size of the object this image is not real because it appears to be coming from this point and if you are placing a screen here we cannot obtain the image on the screen so it is a virtual image and also you can see it is erect so if object is placed between f1 and o then the image is formed on the same side of the object it is an enlarged image 
virtual and erect so here we studied image characteristics of convex lens based on the position of the object thank you for watching this video keep learning if you are not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe it also please like and share this video